Welcome to The Terrible Take, a mini podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Dave Bryan. I'm Melanie Friedlander, and welcome to my Terrible Take, coming at you every Sunday from Steelers Depot. It was no surprise when the Steelers drafted Alabama star running back Najee Harris in the first round. The team made their plans pretty clear, so we had plenty of time to talk about him leading up to the draft. No one can question his talent or production in the NCAA, and he comes with a clean bill of health. So when looking at the downside, the only concern NFL analysts had was the tread on his tires. Some experts suggested that the 638 carries and 80 receptions he had in four years of college would lead to injuries and lost production in the NFL down the road. And Steelers fans are probably sensitive to the argument, since that was Le'Veon Bell's issue at the end of his Pittsburgh career and the reason for sitting out his second franchise tag on the couch. As always, perception is convenient, and that's what sells clicks. But let's look at this from a data standpoint, because if you know anything about me, I'm a data girl. Does the number of snaps lead to problems down the road? Let's take a look. Michael Fabiano wrote a piece for NFL.com back in 2009, suggesting that the NFL running backs hit a wall when they turn 30, and that has pretty much been urban legend, everyone believes. The only problem is that Fabiano didn't prove his point statistically, so it was basically just his opinion. Doesn't answer the question one way or another. I came across a thesis written by Chase Kennedy while he was at Bryn Mawr, which coincidentally is in Pennsylvania, who attacked the issue from a mathematical standpoint. His paper is incredible, and I'll be discussing it in greater detail in a post on SteelersDepot.com. But after crunching an insane amount of data in a scientific approach, here's what he found. Running back production decreases gradually from age 27 to 32. There is no sudden wall at 30. Once a running back reaches 1,000 career snaps in the NFL, according to those using the study, total yards per game and fantasy points per game will begin to decline. For every 250 more career touches a running back receives after that point, production continues to slip. Upon reaching 1,750 career touches, production shows its largest expected decline. What's interesting is that once they get to 2,000 carries, that no longer holds true. This could be because at 1,750 carries, that's a threshold where most running backs see their career end due to decreased production, and the guys still playing are doing so at a high level. Kennedy concluded that most running backs hit the wall at 1,750 career touches. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that Kennedy looked at running back data since the 1970 merger up until 2008, and athletes have a much more sophisticated method for maintaining fitness and health these days. Andrew Aziz, a senior writer for SB Nation who covers the Colts and also a business school grad, so he knows numbers, crunched those to determine the running back wall in terms of college and NFL snaps. He concluded that the average running back wall occurs at 3,050 career touches. I recommend you read his post from last September, but the numbers that stood out for me are Ladanian Tomlinson with 986 college touches and 3,798 touches in the NFL. Steven Jackson, Emmett Smith, and Adrian Peterson all had more college carries than Najee Harris, and their careers turned out pretty darn well. So bottom line, don't listen to the media folks stirring the pot and saying the Steelers' new running back wasn't worth a first-round draft pick because he already has too much wear and tear. He's going to be just fine, Steelers fans. Thanks for listening, and please follow me on Twitter, at Girl Surgeon, and follow Steelers Depot, at Steelers Depot. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Alex Kazora every Tuesday and Friday.